Hello, sir. How are you? Yeah, good to see you. This is Rudy. <laughs> we actually, I've interviewed you before over the telephone a couple of years ago, and we, the whole theme about the interview was on success and Correct. persistence. Do you still believe in that? I wouldn't be here. Hmm. You have to persist every day, I think, especially today. A little tough today. So you have to have a different frame of mind. You got to have, change your thoughts. You can change a lot of different things in your life. You have to deal with what's given to you and just deal with it with a good, positive, I think, outlook, right? Yeah. And uh, kind of deal with it. All right, I want to ask you a kind of a, a tough question around dealing with it. It's, I think, you know, of course, we've been brought up in, in, in terms of positive thinking and really wanting to persist. But when you're down in the dirt and in the mud and things are, are really tough, how does one change their thoughts to say, you know, whatever is happening That's is happening? That's a great question. That is a great question. Here's the key. Okay. Meditation really helps. you got to get yourself in a very quiet moment, meditate, read something very positive, whether it's the Bible or a good book, something that will kind of remind you and humble you mm. into what you really have and to who you really are. Then you can deal with it. Things aren't as bad as you think. You're much better off than you think. Well, we're always blown away and always just so honored to be talking with you. And you have inspired so many people. You've inspired me to really pursue my own dreams. And I appreciate it. And thank you so much for being here tonight. Well, You're doing I, a great thing. Well, I appreciate you. And, you know, you need new dreams and new goals. And uh, this is very exciting. I know we're going to give the Rudy Award out here tonight to a young man. He's at uh, Hartford University now, but when you when he first got into the program, he wasn't really going anywhere until Ryan Wolfington and his leaders, his mentors got in touch with him and start mentoring him and changing his thinking yes. and his thoughts and his habits. All of a sudden, he's now had a scholarship at Hartford University for tennis. That boy was going nowhere five years ago. Now look where he's at. That's what I mean by changing your thoughts. That is an amazing story. Uh, tell us a little bit about the Rudy Award and, and the impact. Well, that's exactly what the Rudy Award does. We recognize the character the young person really starts developing and his courage to go after his dream. And, you know, it's big. He must commit. And that's the big thing. Loyal to the commitment. Then now how he contributes back once he's making it. That's what we give the Rudy Award for. It's a big circle, and we love it. Thank you so much. and. Any other words of wisdom you want to close off this interview because it's been such an honor? No, it's an honor to be here, number one. I'm humbled to be around Tony Bennett and all these great people here. I mean, you grew up listening to Tony Bennett, and all of a sudden you're invited to his birthday party. And But he has a cause and a purpose. That's what I like about it. That's what's great about his birthday party. Well, thank you so you're much. Fine. You have a good time tonight, and thanks for giving out the awards. You do a great job. Thank you. I just got a testimonial from Rudy. Do you ever get tired of people going, Rudy, Rudy? Well, Sean Aston gets tired of that, not me. <laughs> <laughs> he can't go anywhere.